Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Um, also, join memberships if join memberships join membership if you'd like to it's a join button below this video if you're on desktop if you're on mobile it's the link in the description box just click it and you should be able to join or go straight to my channel on desktop and then press the join button on the main channel page um and then also if you guys ever want to donate to the channel it does mean a lot it really helps me to keep putting out videos like this for you guys um it's just the paypal link in the description box below and then I also have an Amazon wish list if you'd like to donate cards to the channel. I really love when you guys do that as well. Um, so yes, that is there if you would like to. Um, and we're going to get into this reading. I literally was like laughing at this reading. <laughs> so this is going to be a reading based on how does Divine Masculine feel about Divine Feminine right now. Just because I know I've been doing a lot of like really serious stuff. So I wanted to get more into like the emotional side of things in this reading. Um, but honestly, it's just making me laugh. <laughs> this person. Okay. Anyway, so basically, um, I'm going to tell you some a couple channel messages I heard before starting this reading. I keep hearing something about a parking spot or a parking lot. Um, I'm also hearing that song. I keep hearing this song. It's like, I should have bought your flowers and held your hand. Gave you all my hours when I had the chance. This is how he's feeling about you right now. Like, oh my gosh, this man is so in his feels, guys. Man or woman, you know, apply it how it resonates. Um, but <laughs> also I was hearing bratwurst, surveyed, surveyed public buildings. Um, can't, oh yeah, can't comprehend life without you in it. I literally heard that. Something about a front desk asking for the key. A movie theater, something about toenail clippings, um, Mitsubishi, is that, that's like a car brand or something, I think, um, 12, I was hearing 12 nights, something about a hernia and driving to church, so, uh, those were some of the messages, and then for this card, like, I was hearing the song, like, I'm unstoppable, there's, what is it, I win every single game, I am powerful, da -da 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 -da. like, so I feel like there's a masculine out there guys who's like I'm gonna deliver this news to her I'm gonna tell her how I feel I'm gonna say it like look at him with his flower bouquet like he's ready He's walking forward. He's like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tell her the news I'm gonna I'm gonna say everything to her and like he's like yeah, I'm unstoppable. I got this I can do this but then he's like <laughs> Teetering back and forth they feel in this reading. He's like one minute like he's like yeah I got this I'm so good like I'm, I'm the man like I'm gonna do this and then the next minute he's like <laughs> he's like Oh no! Actually, I don't, I don't know. I'm 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 not sure anymore. I'm not sure if I'm an unstoppable anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know. Okay, this is just the vibe of this reading right now. Anyways, um, okay, but basically, I feel like he just wants to like hug you. He wants to hold you. He wants to be near you. Um, he feels like you're someone that's very kind. You're very sweet. You're very spiritual um like i feel like he wants to surprise you with like drinks or a party like just some sort of event like he wants to like just shock you with something like look at how she's kind of surprised he just shows up behind her and she's like oh okay then well this is a lot um i feel like that's kind of like what he wants to do like he just wants to like i don't know do a big something big for you like you are just his wish like he just wants to like wrap his arms around you i feel like this is someone who physically just wants to be really close to you right now um but yeah, I also was hearing sur Surrender to the Divine, um, something about uh, in the past he had selfish ways. I was hearing that song, Hungry Eyes. So I feel like he, yeah, is kind of regretting his selfish ways in the past while definitely regretting them in this reading. Um, but he wants to know what's going on with you. I feel like with the High Priestess here, you're like a mystery to him. Um, he's also like very mystified about why he feels so pulled to you but i feel like that's also drawing him in even more like he's like why do i like her so much like why do i feel so drawn to her why do i think about her all the time like something like that and he finds you very intelligent as well like you could be like someone who reads a lot or just like works a lot um on your craft and like he's just very inspired by you you're very like regal to him sorry my cat is walking all over me right now um but yeah he he may also wonder like if you know what's going on with him because you are so intuitive he may be like what does she know about me what does she think about me like i feel like it's just so many thoughts are going through this man's mind right now um 
Also, I feel like he definitely puts you on a pedestal. He's like, wow, like, look at this high priestess in this card. Like, he's like, she's so amazing, so interesting, she's so magical and, like, intuitive. Like, I want to know more about her. She's so, she's such a mystery to me. Like, why didn't I see this before? Um, also, I feel like he thinks that you're intimidating. Like, you're kind of hard to approach. Like, look at this person. Like, if you were to try to go and approach them, you'd be kind of, like, interrupting them. I feel like that's what he feels like with you. Like, he doesn't want to go and interrupt your life or whatever it is that you're building or working on. Um, but then at the same time he does, like, he just doesn't know how to go about it. Also, I keep getting that, <laughs> this was like a channel message, just so random. He's thinking about the bedroom with you, something about like putting stuff on you, <laughs> on your body, and something about paradise. I don't know, this was a very odd message, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but yeah, you're someone very different, like, you kind of go your own way, and he likes that about you, he's like, you don't follow the crowd sort of thing, like, you go in the opposite direction, and you just do what you want to do, and he loves that about you, um, and you're also very passionate, I feel, about what you do, and you also know your worth, like, look at this woman on this card, like, she knows her worth, right, like, that's, that's how he feels about you, and also, though, like, right here, look at, look at, he's just, like, in the background, like, creeping on you, like, wow, she's so beautiful, like, I love her so much. What what if I talk to her? Actually, no, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> like, and then like, he feels like there's just all these other people around you. Like, look at all these people that she has in her life. Like, um, he's kind of jealous, I feel. Like, if you post pictures with other people or for like, you hang out with a group or something. Like, he's like, wait, is she dating one of them? Like, I need to find out. Like, I don't know if she's seeing him or this one or this one. Like, I need to know. He's like, try to figure out if you're seeing anyone, if you have anyone in your life already. Um, maybe he's talking to friends about you too, trying to get like the down low on like who you're seeing right now. Um, but I feel like he definitely, and like with this card, he definitely either watches your social media or has like seen you in real life or something, like creeps on you. <clears throat> I don't know, it's definitely like a, like a stalkerish vibe, but like not in a bad way I'm getting from this card. So, yeah. And... Also, I was hearing a channel message again. I was hearing in the past, I put my fears first. So something about like he regrets, you know, in the past, like putting his fears ahead of his love for you or something like that. Um, and like, obviously, he's kind of doing the same thing now, to be fair, like with the creeping. But I don't know. Um, anyways, we'll move forward here. But like, okay, clarifying this, we have, sorry, my cat's on me. This is a little difficult. We have the two of swords here. We have the four of cups and we have the emperor, like, He's, like, blocking himself from messaging you, I feel, because he's, like, worried that you're gonna reject his offer. Like, he's acting like an emperor, but then the other side of him is kind of like, but, like, what if she doesn't accept my offer? Like, I don't know. Like, he wants to do everything for you. He wants to be the man. He wants to protect you. I told you earlier, like, he's like, I'm unstoppable. I got this. But then when it comes to actually do it, he's like, okay, well, actually, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> and, like, look right here in this card like the heart's kind of like bandaged up i feel like he doesn't want to get hurt again that's part of his fears like he doesn't want someone to break his heart especially if he's dealt with a karmic situation situation like we've been talking about um he just doesn't want to get hurt again when he comes towards you um he he just really wants you to say yes to this and that's why he's trying so hard to make sure it's perfect that everything is exactly how he wants it to be something about water could be significant you guys could end up like talking to each other near water or someone lives near water as well but I feel like yeah he wants to protect his heart um he's just a little bit concerned about what you're gonna say and yeah so I feel like that's part of the reason he hasn't reached out right away and then okay guys so <laughs> sorry my cat is sitting on me he's like <laughs> I'm like sweating so much he's so hot anyways okay we're gonna move forward um this card here like i feel like he like misses how you looked like when you're sleeping or something something about how you slept maybe he like looked at you when you're sleeping and was like wow she's so beautiful or something um like he's really thinking about that or like missing you in bed beside him or something like that um also if there was a third party involved here um i'm seeing that they didn't show affection the way that you did i feel like they could have had like a very sexual relationship but there was no like real love there like look at this card like how romantic he is with this girl and then like look at this card he's like oh my god don't open the blinds like wow i'm trying to sleep <laughs> and like obviously there's something on his wrist like i feel like they could have had a very sexual relationship but i don't think that there was a lot of like love and affection there um and then also like yeah something about burning incense someone could burn incense or like 
these people like in their connection this karmic connection like they could have just like sat around like smoking together or doing drugs or something or like I don't know just something very karmic but like they didn't go out and do other things whereas I feel like your connection was more like emotional like, you guys went on dates or like had like really nice fun nights together and stuff but um he just doesn't have that with this person I think like like I said in another reading like I think this masculine would have gone in a relationship with potentially like a, a karmic person after you or like went back to them like he immediately regretted it like there's something about like he just wasn't happy in this connection um it just wasn't as fulfilling as your connection was um and so yeah he regrets like an ending that you guys had in your connection and um yeah I also feel like um at night guys like I definitely have been getting that he could cry about you at night or like also sometimes just like struggles to get up in the morning like struggles struggles to get out of bed because of his thoughts of you and like the regrets he has in his life of like his connection with you like I feel like it really does affect him right now like just lately I feel like in the readings it's been really affecting him emotionally this is someone who again dreams about you a lot I feel like has intuitive dreams and they could like wake up crying even or just like be really emotional at nighttime like something about the nighttime is very hard for this person so yeah um and then also I see that um yeah he may have ended your connection in the past to like keep keep his options open or something um as we see here um and it could have been like there was like a misunderstanding between you guys or confusion about like where the connection was headed um so that could have been an issue I was also hearing something about putting on a persona like I feel like he just like wasn't really sure about where the connection was going and then like maybe you ended it because you were like well I'm not gonna be like an option or something um something like that and or just like you guys couldn't agree on like how the connection was gonna work or something like that and then you guys ended it and then immediately after you ended it though I feel like he had regrets like he was like oh my god like why was I stupid like why did I not like stay with her why did I have to like have other options or why did I pick this other option something like that like there's immediate regret over whatever he did in the past um when you guys ended things and what was I gonna say here yeah it was like something like oh this weird vibe I was getting from these cards it was like I do love you like I'm sorry <laughs> like it was like Okay, it's like, I do love you, like, I'm sorry, my love, but, like, we can't be together right now, though, like, maybe someday soon, like, I don't know why, it was, like, this weird energy of, like, not now, but, like, someday we'll be together, like, I don't know, it's like he left in the night or something, I mean, obviously, it doesn't have to happen that way, it's just, like, a metaphor, but, like, I don't know, I kind of feel like that's the energy here, like, it was weird, it was, like, he ended things, but, like, didn't really want to end things, like, I don't really know why, again, like, we've seen in other readings, this could have been to do with family issues or a karmic person that he was already um had in the background and like had to go back and deal with or something some sort of like issues that maybe he didn't tell you about um so he ended things but I don't think he ended things like fully because like he wasn't in love with you or something like I feel like he ended things because he just had a lot going on in his own life um this also could be financially he didn't feel like we said fit to be your partner yet or something um so yeah, he ended things, but I don't feel like it was because of like a lack of love and the connection. I feel like that was definitely there. So I just want to point that out. Um, but yeah, guys, like this masculine wants to send you a message. Like I keep seeing that in the in the latest readings. Um, he wants to reach out to you. Like obviously, especially with the page of wands here, there's something about good news as well. Um, we have like the hangman here. <laughs> so this is like a pause though. He pauses before he does this like part of him is fear it's fear like he's just wrapped up in fear he's like locking himself up like no 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 no. I don't know if I can do this like he just gets into this like fear mode I feel but like he really does want to send you a message like he's like I wrote her this whole song like I had all this stuff planned that we were gonna do together I was gonna give her this beautiful gift like I was, I was really gonna like stand up at her door and just like play my instrument for her but <laughs> But then part of him holds back because he gets all up in his head, like, with the with the knight or king of swords here. This is, like, someone who's like, no, 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 like, actually, I won't, I can't do this. I can't, I gotta, like, be logical about this. Like, maybe I'll wait till another day, like, or something like that. It's gotta be perfect. It's, like, the logical part of his brain keeps getting in the way. 
Um, there's something about, again, protection. He wants to protect his heart, protect himself. This could also be protecting you, Divine Feminine, as we did talk about. There could be a karmic situation going on that he wants to, like, you know, protect you from or something. Um, but honestly, I think that part of it is just him being, like, a little too up in his head. He really wants to message you guys. Like, I just feel that in this reading. Like, it's very strong energy. Like, he very much wants to reach out to you. But he just, like, doesn't know how to go about it. Like, he's just, like, one day, like, okay, I'm getting that, uh, what is that thing? Where everyone's, like, I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to do it. I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to do it. Like, I was thinking about it. I was just thinking about it. Like, it's, like, that vibe. Like, he's, like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it one day. And then the next day, he's, like, okay, never mind. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to wait till another day. Like, it's, like, that. Like, he's just so close to reaching out to you, I feel. Like, he's teeter-tottering, like, back and forth with it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Um, also, yeah, basically, like, okay... Yeah, he just he just wants to move forward with things. Like he wants to move past the past too. Like I feel like this is someone who doesn't want to talk about everything. Like they're not good at talking about their feelings. So they don't want to talk about all the stuff that went wrong in the past. They just want to like move forward from it and just like be happy together. Like they don't want to have a discussion. They just want to apologize and move forward. Um that's the part that I think they're afraid of too is like the talking about things in the past because I feel like they have a lot of regrets and they feel really bad about whatever they did to you in the past. Um, and they just don't want to, like, bring it up in the conversation. They also don't want to talk about anything to do with a karmic situation. Like, if that's involved, I feel like they just want to, like, move forward from it. They really just see you as, like, that person that's going to help them heal, help them move forward. And they just don't want to think about the past anymore. But they know that coming towards you... Sorry, my cat is, like, doing stuff. <laughs> they just know that coming towards you is going to have to include talking about the past. And that's the part, I think, that really scares them. But, like, honestly, they just want to move forward. Like, I had this whole gondola ride planned for us. Like, I just want to take her on a trip. I want to go to Italy with her or Paris or wherever we've been talking about. Um, he's like, I just want to, like, sweep her off her feet. I want to kiss her. I want to be with her. Like, he really wants to, like, prove to you that he's changed at the same time. Like, very much. Like, he wants to come in, like, as a strong man. Like, we have the, the emperor here. Like, he wants to come in, like, on his high horse, like... I'm here for you now. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to be there for you. I'm not the same man that I was in the past. Like, that's the energy I'm getting from this. But yeah, he's like struggling a little bit with reaching out. He's like, like I said at the beginning of the reading, he's like, I'm the man. I can do this. But then part of him's like, just kidding. I'm not the man. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> like, this everything's so fun. Sorry, guys. I know it's annoying for everyone dealing with this, but like, I literally see him so close to wanting to reach out to you. Like, this message is like, I feel like it's like in his phone. Like, he's got it all typed out. Like, this long paragraph. It's probably in his notes app right now, but he just like hasn't got the guts to send it to you yet or reach out to you yet. Again, we have something with music that could be involved, like I mentioned as well. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Also, I was hearing something about pistachios again. I keep hearing that. Also, something about a stoplight and picking up trash or something in the trash. I keep hearing that as well. I don't know where that comes into play here, but I've been hearing that a lot lately. Um, stoplight, I don't know, something to do with cars again, maybe. But anyway, so, and then, oh yeah, I wanted to show you up here as well. Look at this card. It says, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Give a relationship a chance, work on your partnership. See, I feel like he's, like, telling his friends about everything to do with you. He's, like, she was, like, the love of my life. I loved her so much. Like, why did I let her go? I was so stupid to do this. And then his friend's, like, yep, I know. We've heard this before. Like, I feel like, I feel like his friends are getting tired of listening to him, like, go on about you and how much he loves you. They're, like, yep, are you, so you're gonna message her yet? Like, um, you know, like, that's all you really have to do. And he's, like, yeah, soon, like, I will, I'm, I'm gonna do it, and then he's just, I feel like he's praying to the lords above, like, he's manifesting you, he's trying to, like, do weird things to also bring you to him, like, I feel like he's just shy, but he also is, like, at the same time obsessed with you right now, like, he just keeps talking about you, thinking about you, um, you're on his mind constantly, he's praying for you, but then, like, he doesn't reach out <laughs> because he gets nervous at the last minute, but, Anyways, I feel like he's going to reach out. I feel like he's discussing with friends. Like, I feel like friends are giving him advice. Like, yeah, you need to, like, go for it. Like, give the relationship a chance. Why don't you just reach out and see what happens kind of thing? And I feel like, again, like, with this card, I was hearing that song. I can be a hero, baby. 
So I feel like when he comes in, like he wants to rush in like this amazing man, all like muscular, maybe he's working on his fitness before he comes and sees you. Like he wants to come in as like your savior, like he just wants to sweep you off your feet, like I said. Um, and like, I feel like that's the problem though, is that he almost wants to be so perfect when he comes in to see you that he's forgetting that part of it is just like, you know, taking the risk and it's never going to be a perfect time. Like you just got to do it. And I feel like that's the part that he struggles with. So this is definitely someone like earth energy or something, guys, like very analytical, very much like too much in their mind almost. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, we're gonna like maybe get a little more detail on this. I have to clarify uh, this card as well, the magician, because we did have the page of wands and the magician starting off the reading. So we're gonna go into that now. I just wanted to get these messages out first and then yeah, we'll go into clarifying that. All right guys, so in the second half of this reading, I was hearing some more channel messages that were kind of random. I was hearing something about Papa John's. Um, I've heard something about another pizza place uh, in the past, like I think one or two readings ago as well. Um, something about a record label, Marry Me. I was hearing Car Crash again, guys, and we do have the Chariot in Reverse here, which is interesting. Um, I also was hearing, Must have been a deadly kiss, cause only love can hurt like this. So someone is really in love, I feel. Someone is like, wow, like, I never knew true love until this, um, and I feel like now they really know what it's like to hurt and to really truly miss someone and to miss them in their life like they've never felt this way before about someone that's what i'm getting from this i'm also getting um uh what was it that song it's like you're so hypnotizing could you be the devil could you be the angel um i think it's et e by Katy perry so uh i feel like he looks like you almost as an extraterrestrial like you're just someone out of this world like he's never met someone like you before um, like, he just can't seem to comprehend, like, all of this feeling, these feelings he's had for you. Like, it's something very different than anything he's ever felt. Um, as we said before, it feels like a magnetic pull towards you. We said this in another reading. Um, I was also hearing something about Arizona or, like, um, sorry, guys, I spelt out letters. Like, you know, when I pull letter charms, um, and I spelt AZ, so Arizona, and I also said something about, I think, Arizona in one of the last readings, too. Um, something could be significant about an aunt as well, like someone's aunt, because I pulled Zia, which is aunt in Italian, and of course we're pulling more about Italian words again, so something about Italy could be important here. Um, I also pulled Iza, like Iza, Iza, maybe it's someone's name, or, and also Tina. I was also hearing that song, a moment like this, some people search for lifetime. For a moment like this. Yeah, so I, I feel like he he is just waiting on this perfect moment with you. Like he that that is all he's been dreaming about. That's where his mind is at. Um we're gonna see more about this in this reading uh quickly, but also was hearing pancetta, something about pasta. I was also hearing pasta water last night too. Um something about wine bottle. Um, I was also seeing like a vision of someone doing the split. So, you know, like in the movie, uh, what is it? Elf, when he's got one foot on the, the escalator, like one foot, like going up one foot down. Um, it's like that, like someone's kind of like really wanting to step forward, take this leap with you, but then they also have one foot still back in whatever this previous situation is or something like, it's like, they're trying to stretch both ways, but it just doesn't work like that. And Spirit's like, something has to give here. Like, you gotta let go. Um, so that's kind of, like, the energy I'm getting. Also, I was hearing something. This was last night. I was hearing, I was hearing a few mes- Ugh, Sorry, guys. A few messages I also wanted to mention. I was hearing something about um, allocations or allegations. Ligation. Tubal ligation. Maybe someone doesn't want kids. I don't know what that's about. Um, I was hearing stolen, again, car crash. I heard that last night too. Wow. I didn't even realize that. Um, something about state senator and a fly swatter. I keep seeing someone flotting, flotting, <laughs> swatting flies on a window or something. Um, and then for any other messages I heard in this part of the reading, I was hearing, um, Oh, someone speaking in accent. They were like, do you want a cup of tea? Like, they were talking in an accent. <laughs> Maybe someone's from the UK or someone's like, um, we also had Jamaica in the past. They could be from any of these places or just like any place. Someone could be Italian. Um, I was hearing, also, don't give up. 
um, something about Florida as well. So, okay, we're going to get into this. Sorry, my cat's playing with a stick again in the background. Um, we have the magician here as the main card, guys. So this is something that I said, it's manifesting. Like this is like slowly coming into our physical world, whatever this is, it's like slowly following along, like whatever this is manifesting. Um, and we have someone here who is like waiting. This is it's kind of funny because clarifying the magician, we have the next card, which is all about manifesting, which is the three of wands. This is someone right at the edge of something, right about to, it's like right about to manifest pretty much. Um, this is also about waiting sometimes though. And I do see that we have the chariot that came out in reverse. This was very clearly in reverse. I had all the cards straight guys and it just like flung out upside down. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's something holding this masculine up and it might be more than just emotional. I do think there is a part of it that is emotional because, so firstly, I think that he wants to send you a mes message. He really wants to send it to you. Um, and he probably could at this point, like there's something like he could reach out to you potentially, but I think there's still fear about maybe dragging you into a situation or fear about just obviously coming towards you. Like he's intimidated by you. Um, but I think he could send you a, a message, like whether that's a text or a phone call. But I do think in terms of travel, like actually physically coming towards you, I feel, feel like there could be a block here. Um, we did see stuff in the last reading. I am pulling stuff about stopped and caught again. Um, so someone could have got stopped at the airport or um, something like that. I, I don't know, something to do with a vehicle or something to do with the plane not being able to get on. There's like a physical block almost. And when I clarified this card, that's when I did pull stuff about someone's aunt as well. Maybe someone doesn't want him to leave um, and it's making it really difficult for him. But I strongly feel like he, he wants to go because we have clarified this with the Knight of Wands. And normally this comes up as a karmic, but in this reading, it's coming up as a Divine Masculine. Um, he is like ready. He is passionate. He's like, I don't even care anymore. I'm going to take the sleep. I'm going to go for it. So I do feel like he tried to travel, but then there was some sort of blockage when he was trying to travel. Um... And also, I found this reading really interesting too. So we clarified the chariot card with complacency here. Um, so this is this card actually talks about like someone at the end of their life having like regrets about all the things that they didn't do. So I feel like this is this masculine. Like he's like, I really need to do this because I know ultimately I'm gonna regret it if I don't take this risk. So that's why he feels like he has to. But then another part of him is like, just like I talked about with the you know the elf like having one foot in, one foot out. Um, he also has, feels like he has an obligation to someone or a service to someone. Maybe someone isn't well back home or like there's some situation that still needs to be wrapped up, which could again, have to deal with something legal. Um, we, we did talk about this in the last reading. I mean, watch the last couple of readings if you want to know more about that situation. But for some of you, this like, that's could be the case. Like there's just something back home he still feels obligated to. Um, but then I also was pulling other cards like, um, where it's like he like he feels obligated to do this like he feels like he's got to stay here but then also with this complacency card it's kind of like are like do you really need to stay here does is this really ever like are you really that stuck or is it just like all in your head a little bit too like because ultimately i feel like he could be stuck physically but does that mean he can't message divine Ma divine feminine does that mean he can't like you know call her or something Probably not. So I feel like part of it is him holding himself in this situation a little bit too. Um, so I feel like that's what we're seeing this reading and that could be why he hasn't reached out just because part of it is also himself. But I feel like he might use this like blockage as kind of like, oh, well, like now obviously I'm not gonna, I can't reach out to you or oh no, like, but then I also feel like, I don't know, he, he's tiptoeing, like he's back and forth all the time about wanting to reach out and then not. It's, it's very weird. But anyways, yes. So long story short, there could be some sort of blockage in terms of travel or something, but he is now considering sending you a message. Um, and this again is someone coming out as an emperor. So he's someone that is a good counterpart. Like he wants to be that person for you. He's not someone that like, uh, yes, he's showing up in a Knight of Wands energy, but he's also showing up in the Knight of Pentacles energy. This is someone who is very sexually attracted to you, very physically attracted to you, uh, wants to rush in and wants to be near you in every way possible, but he also wants to offer you something very stable and he wants to be there for you and he wants to protect you and take care of you. So this is a really good combination. This person definitely could have some fire energy um, in their chart, also some earth energy. I feel like they're an earth, fire, earth and fire sign, like mainly, like in their chart, they have a lot of that. Um, that's just what I'm seeing. Like, it's just so funny to have these two cards come out clarifying the same person. So he's very determined. 
He wants to take action towards you. He's got a lot of built up sexual feelings towards you. Um, but then we also have this card about anxiety here. He's stressing a little bit. I feel like he's like, when he sees you, he's like putting a necklace on that he got for you. And he's like, okay, his hands are like shaking as he tries to do it up. Like, I feel like this is him. He's very nervous around you. You make him very nervous. You give him a lot of anxiety, I feel. But he also is just like so madly in love with you. There's so much sexual tension here. I feel like if he sees you, like just just know he's got a lot of thoughts running through his mind um and then this is someone again someone very analytical who goes inwards when they're stressed like who doesn't reach out to people I feel when they get nervous or stressed like they just go in like they ghost everyone and kind of just contemplate themselves but like look at he's still thinking about you like always I feel like you're always on his mind constantly again this is someone with all the books here and the papers like very analytical this is a Virgo energy as well um, with the hermit here. So this is someone like, yeah, very analytical, who also is very sexual. <laughs> they're, they're a bit of both, really. Um, and yeah, they, they want to come towards you. They're so nervous. And like, so yeah, there's something physical that could be holding them back, but also something mental, I feel. There's a little bit of both. But then we look over here, guys. Um, what was this clarifying? This was clarifying, I think, the Knight of Wands. Look at this, guys. This is like, I'm going to propose to you straight up. Like, I feel like this is what it, it could literally be a proposal. We have right up here, divine masculine, divine feminine, get married. And look at this. Like, he's coming forward. He's going to, like, show up at your door or something with flowers. Like, he wants to propose to you. Maybe he's got to get in through your gate and your, <laughs> your building or something. Maybe that's what we heard about with, you, with getting in the building. Um, but, yeah, like, he wants to come express everything to you. Like, it's that's what he wants to do. He's very much pulled towards doing this. And he's like, this is the Empress and the Emperor both coming out in this reading. These are divine counterparts. Um, like, guys, this can't get much more clear. These are amazing cards. Like, he literally wants to deliver you news, a good good news, and he wants to express his feelings for you with this news. Um, and then up here we have clarifying, I forget what I clarified with this. Oh, the Knight of Pentacles, I think. Um, and then with the more serious part of the offer here, like we have well, yeah, okay, so this is clarifying the more like emotional party offer the more like in the moment like he just wants to rush in and tell you how he feels about you and just like express everything but then this part is like I'm also like very balanced and very stable like I want you to know like I'll be there for you like in the long run this is a serious love offer um like I want to be your partner I want to provide for you I want to take care of you like I see a future with you so that's why I'm saying like this is someone very much passionate but also very serious about this offer um yeah, and like that's what I, that's what's coming in for you guys. Um, and then over here too, we have something about this is so wild. So clarifying the Empress, we have enlightenment. You were his teacher. You were his spiritual teacher. That is what this is about. You guided him. Um, you taught him a lot. This is him. Like he was like a child when he met you, and then he grew up. Like he grew into this emperor because of you. Um, and then we also have discovery. This card was about like someone who had things had life pretty good thought everything was going well for them and then they met this um divine feminine and they kind of like took her for granted and then she left and then it was like they were like wait what like and then everything changed for them their life got a lot harder and then they started they finally decided to like turn to basically a god to ask them for help in this situation because they wanted her back like it's someone who like again was so different when you met them like they were just going about their life thinking like everything's fine the way I'm doing things but then you came in and changed their whole world and when you were in their life they kind of took you for granted but then as soon as you left they were like whoa like that that really changed me I don't know what it was about that person but like I want them back and then they tried to get you back and it didn't happen and then now they're <laughs> so then they go to God they literally go to like universe spirit and they're asking them for help they're like wait can you help me get her back and like this is how he became enlightened I feel like he just like I don't know what it is it's like he couldn't get you back himself and then he finally I feel like in this whole karmic situation everything he's been through he realized like to get you back ultimately he had to surrender to like the divine like he had to um I don't know stop being in his ego like at the let go of that like it's just something about a big transformation that you caused in this person. Like, you caused a huge change in him. I apologize if this part is not making sense. But um, I'm trying to make it make sense. But basically, you just you awoke this person. You caused this person to feel things they've never felt before. And you really changed, like, their whole outlook on life. And they are not the same person anymore because of you. 
you definitely like look at this heart in them like you awoke something in them that wasn't there before so um yeah that's what i'm seeing this reading for you guys um also i want to say that one of the messages on these cards in the book it was uh, enlightenment is found through fears um and i feel like that is what you taught him and that is what he's learning that if he wants to change things in his life he also has to take risks and be brave so i do feel like that's what he's going to end up doing guys He's going to move forward, I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Um, we're likely going to jump over to members to do some more clarifying of like these messages over here and get more details for you guys. Um, and then yeah, uh, if you also want to donate to the channel, I do have the PayPal link in the description box below. You can always donate to the wish list as well if you want to, guys. It means a lot to me. And I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye, guys.